Well, this is a focal point. If you put your hands together, I'm sure you and Eileen will come on stage. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Happy March. Happy early St. Patrick's Day. This is the start of our, our version of mass, our March Madness. And we are thrilled to be back here at Focal Point for our fifth year. We were even here last year by ourselves. <laughs> playing to a screen. So it is great to be back to play for uh, live humans again. And we're going to kick things off with a couple of uh, single jigs from my other home, my original home, County Clare. These were composed by a great Clare fiddle player called Scully Casey. <laughs> I actually learned those from my brother Connor and when we played our very first St. Patrick's Day show here in 2017 he was here and played with us 
Um, so like I said, we're delighted to be back. I'm going to play another uh, Clare tune for you, or a tune that's associated with someone from County Clare, although he did not compose it. It's called Tuttles, and Tuttle is quite a common uh, surname in West Clare. And the uh, it is. It has another name, a much older name, but um, a man called Bobby Casey used to play this tune a lot, and uh, he learnt it from a guy called John Joe Tuttle, and so he used to call it Tuttle in Tuttles in his honour. I'm going to follow that up with a, a St. Louis tune, a tune that I wrote uh, during the pandemic when uh, we were all trapped in our homes and playing to screens and teaching to screens and doing everything else that you can do with the screen, and uh, this little tune came into my head and I called it Hanging on Halliday. So we're going to try these together. Thank you. 
Well, we're going to continue on with a song this time that comes from the north of Ireland. And it's a song that I learned years ago, but never really um, performed it much or didn't, I kind of forgot about it. Forgot I knew it until this summer I was on a trip and a friend of mine and I were singing through some songs and this one came up and it came back into my head. And uh, it is, like I said, from the north of Ireland, it's from County Armagh. And it's called Dobbins Flowery Vale. And I'm going to play a little bit of it on the tin whistle as well. This is a, a big tin whistle. It's a special tin whistle. So those of you who are getting worried that you might have to put some earplugs in for the shrill sound that the tin whistle can sometimes bring, I have good news for you. This one is lovely and mellow. <laughs> <coughs>
as the tears like rosy drops of dew may trickle down her face. She strove in vain him to detain, but whilst she did be Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone. Now, we're going to continue on now with a couple of jig-type tunes. The first one is a jig that was composed by a fiddle player named John Dwyer uh, from Cork, and it's called The Sunny Hills of Barra. Barra is a place in Cork. And then we're going to follow it up with a tune that you might recognize part of. Uh, it's somehow very well known still, uh, because in 1867, it was the official tune of the U.S. Calvary called Gary Owen, and I think you might have, it might have passed your ears in, in the past. Uh, but this is sort of like a re-Irishified version with three extra parts. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was up here for about an hour tuning before you guys got here, and now I'm going to do a whole lot more. It's never ending. <laughs> down in West Plains, Missouri, uh, yesterday evening, uh, playing there. And before the concert, we have clip-on mics for both of our instruments. And um, we were sound checking before the concert, and we were joking with the people. They were like, oh, we're so easy. We just plug it in and go. There's no problems. We're not divas. It's not going to take us long to get this. Uh, taken care of and we were there probably for a half an hour dealing with a terrible feedback issue that neither of us could explain <laughs> Turns out they had this monitor above our heads that our clip-on microphones did not like so once they turned that off We were golden, but uh, yeah, we were eating our words on stage for a little while eating up my tuning time. Yes <laughs> But luckily uh, we got it all sorted um, so we're going to continue on with a lovely barn dance, uh, which we were discussing on our four-hour drive, because uh, we've heard conflicting stories about its origins, so we're not going to share either of them with you. Just going <laughs> to tell you that it's called the Chaff Pool Post, and we're going to follow that up with a great reel uh, called Larkin's Beehive. <coughs> Thank you. 
Sometimes my car likes to surprise me by playing music that I don't know is on my phone. Usually it just plays the last thing that I was playing, but sometimes it, it, it comes up with um, some things that are buried deep in my iTunes. And sometimes I appreciate those surprises and sometimes I do not. Um, but recently it, came, it, it played this song that I didn't even know I had in my possession. I didn't even know I owned, I knew I owned the CD, but I didn't remember putting it onto my laptop and then onto my phone. Those steps, I obviously blanked out somewhere. And um, it's by a singer named Ethna Ni Ulachan, and I'm obsessed with her other CD, but and I knew that was on my phone because it has, it's her band title, and her band is La Lu, but I didn't know I had her solo album. And this song came on in the car, and I immediately fell in love with it, and then only listened to that for about two weeks straight every time I got in the car. So the car didn't need to do any surprises or go searching for anything, because that was the only thing I wanted to listen to. And I sent it to Eileen, and she liked it as well. And it's, it's um, I'd never heard the song before, and I've never heard anyone else sing it. It's a macaronic song. It's in English and in Irish. And it's nice because the verses are first sung in Irish and then the direct translation is sung in English or as close to direct as possible. So um, often macaronic songs like interweave the Irish and the English so you only get every second bit of the story. Um, but luckily you'll get the whole story this time. Uh, so you'll just have to wait through the Irish uh, verses to get to the English to know what I have just said. Um, but it's it's a very beautiful song. It's kind of a sad song. It's called Tom Curra Ove Im Einer Mali. I am weary from lying alone. <coughs> Sarish 
Thank you. Over the summer, we were lucky to have some friends travel in from DC to visit us and uh, play here for a couple of weeks. And we actually did a little show um, outside here at Focal Point, I think it was in August. Um, but they're two great friends of ours, Marty Fry and David McKinley Ward. And I love meeting up with them because they often have some tunes that they have dug out of somewhere, some hole somewhere that I've never heard before and um, love getting together with them and learning some new stuff from them. So we're going to play one of the tunes that we learned from them now. It's called O'Brien the Brave. Um, they didn't know too much about it, but it is a, a clan march and there are lots of O'Briens in Ireland that went to battle at different times. So not sure what battle this is from, but uh, you can visualize English, Normans, Vikings, take your pick. We've been invaded many times in Ireland <laughs> as we play this one. And we're going to follow that up with a couple of polkas. <coughs> Thank you. 
All right, I'm going to take you back about 400 years now to the year 1660 uh, when harp players were employed all over Ireland in all of the manor houses. Uh, you could almost always find a harp player in any wealthy home uh, where they were composing tunes in their patrons' honors. And this one was composed for a Lady Ivy. And you can look up, there. there there's apparently lots of Lady Ivies. It's spelled I-V-E-A-G-H. Um, so I'm not sure exactly which Lady Ivy this was written for, uh, but she must have been pretty special because it's a pretty cool tune that I discovered in an old music collection that I was looking through uh, also during the pandemic. Things you do when you're bored. Uh, play through every tune in a book and find out what you like. Uh, so I put an arrangement of this one together. All, all they have preserved from that time is just the melody line, so we don't actually know what the harp players actually sounded like. So this is just my best guess.
Thank you. We're going to continue on with one of Eileen's favorite songs because it mentions one of Eileen's favorite things, kale. <laughs> 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 it's 
It's a little song about a hare who was unfairly persecuted for a crime that he did not commit. Uh, all he did was steal a little bit of kale, but he was hunted down. And so um, it's called The Hare's Lament, and we're going to follow it with a little jig that I composed sort of based on the melody of the song. Um, but uh, I composed it in kind of a hurry, and it... Um, but it was kind of catchy, so I kept it. And it's currently known as the 22nd jig because that is how long it took to put it together. But um, taking requests for better names if anyone has any suggestions as well. <laughs> <coughs> of November on a bright autumn's day to the hills of Dromila I chanced for to stray I was feeding on green grass that grows on yon ground when my heart was set beating by the cry of the hounds wish a right tally ho harky over hi ho harky over cries the huntsman harky over hi ho they hunted me up and they hunted me down the bold huntsman of Stratham on my tail sent the hounds over highlands and lowlands moorlands also over hedges and ditches like the wind I did go wish a right tally ho harky over hi ho harky over cries the huntsman harky over hi ho there was ringwood and rouser they gave me brush but they soon found me hiding twas in the rush bush for better or worse I know I must die but I'll do my endeavor these hounds to defy wish a right tally ho harky over hi ho harky over cries the huntsman harky over hi ho oh, wish a right tally ho harky over hi ho harky over cries the huntsman harky over hi ho Steps the huntsman to end all my strife, saying, Let the hare go, give her a play for her life. Wouldn't it be far better you killed Raymond the fox, who killed all your chickens, fair hen and game cock? I wish a right tally ho, harky over, hi ho, harky over, cries the huntsman, harky over, hi ho. And now I must die, and I know not crime to the value of sixpence i ne'er harmed mankind i ne'er was brought up for to rob or to steal except for the taps of some crops of green kale and wish a right tally ho harky over hi ho harky over cries the huntsman harky over hi ho and wish a right tally ho harky over hi ho harky over cries the huntsman harky over hi ho
Thank you. Well, it's been a while since we played a Clare tune, so we're going to play another Clare tune now, just in case anybody else is missing County Clare. Um, <coughs> we're going to play a great hornpipe called The Humours of Tully Crine, and then follow it up with a tune that could be our official band name. It's called The Harp and the Shamrock. And we are trying out something different this evening. I don't know if anyone has noticed what it is. If you've seen us play before, we are sitting on opposite sides of the stage. <laughs> Too usual. Eric didn't know what to do when I moved over here. <laughs> so this is what you guys do. But usually you can just see the front of the harp when I sit over there. So I thought I'd go sideways so you could actually see the instrument. Probably like it better, yeah? yeah. All right, we'll keep it this way then. <laughs> Jigs now. Hop jigs are not the kind of tune that you usually hear in concert or at sessions or anywhere. They somehow fell out of fashion uh, quite a while ago, but they're sort of just beginning to make a comeback now, and I think they're super cool tunes. They're kind of the, the jig version of a polka to me in coolness. Um, so we're going to play three of them. The first one has a great title, uh, 
It is not about a person or a place. It's an instruction. It's called comb your hair and curl it. <laughs> and then the second one is called the boys of Balisader, which is also the name of a very common reel, but this is a hop jig, so totally different tune. And then the last one is called the Dusty Miller. We got the last one from a great friend of ours, Joey Abarta, uh, Ellen Piper, who's going to be here in a couple of weeks' time for the St. Louis Tenol, which is the first weekend of April. And he, amongst many others, will be giving some workshops here in St. Louis, um, some Irish music workshops. And then there'll be a concert here at Focal Point that Friday. Um, I think it's the 7th. I whatever, the Friday, whatever the first Friday in April is, that's the one. <laughs> I'm going to uh, sing one more song for you before we um, finish up. This one is another song, Asquailga, sung in the Irish language, which I'm going to sing especially for a friend of mine who's come all the way from New Jersey this weekend. Sadly, not just to see me, but um, <laughs> uh, at the last Flakiol in Drogheda in 2019, my mother was queuing up to go into a competition, and she got talking to this woman and her husband, and somehow we became connected on Facebook, and we have uh, Skyped a couple of times for some singing lessons and different things, and I finally got to meet her in the flesh this, this weekend. So, um, And she is also a Gaelgor. Imagine that someone from New Jersey who speaks Irish. And so I'm going to sing this song for her. This one is called Teiru Walyaru, which means go home with you. And it's a conversation between a father and a daughter. The 
father has told his daughter that she has no business being out on the town because he has found her a suitable man to marry. And um, of course, she does not agree with his choice. And so they argue back and forth. And to be honest, I don't really blame her because the man that he has found her to marry is a piper. So ap ap <laughs> apologies to any pipers in, in the audience, but you know, they are, they are a little loud. Uh, so uh, they argue back and forth wh about whether her match has been made or whether it hasn't. And I, I like to leave her with the last word. So it's called Teir <coughs> Awalyaru.
Ema Orchids, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. Very multi-talented lady. Very lucky to have her in St. Louis. Uh, Ema and I are both teachers at St. Louis Irish Arts, which is a music school my parents founded in 1975. And the Folk Point have graciously offered to host a fundraiser for us, which Dave told you about at the beginning of the show, on March 18th, so the day after St. Patrick's Day. If you haven't gotten your fill of festivities, um, the Wee Heavies will be performing, and the students from St. Louis Irish Arts will be performing, along with myself and Kevin Buckley and Robert Ryan and Jennifer Kelly, who are also teachers at the school. They'll be with us. And uh, we've got two of the students there in the back. I think they're going to be here too. Three of the students, I think. Three of them. Oh, yeah. awesome! <laughs> so you'll get you'll get your full dose of cuteness for sure. <laughs> um, so don't miss that show, and also the Tata show on March thirteenth. Uh, they are Emer and my favorite big Irish band, so don't miss them either. <laughs> well, we're going to leave you this afternoon with a, a set of rails from County Clare. Um, uh, but before we do, I just want to say a huge thank you to Focal Point again for having us here and our getting our St. Patrick's Day started. <laughs> and a special thanks to Eric, as always, for doing a fabulous job on the sound. <laughs> and thank you all so much for coming out and joining us this afternoon. It would not be much fun playing to an empty room. We have done enough of that. So thank you all for joining us this afternoon. And if you have enjoyed yourself, there maybe you can tell your friends that we'll be here again at 8 o'clock. And um, we, like I said, are going to finish up with two Claire tunes. The, one, the first one is, was written by a man named Seamus Connolly, who has spent most of his life actually living in Boston. And he wrote this tune called 13 Arches. So I think it has kind of a crossover with St. Louis. Um, and the 13 Arches are all on the one bridge in Killaloo in County Clare. And we're going to follow it with my possibly my favorite tune title of all time. It's called The Hairy Chested Frog. <laughs> so happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. And thank you for joining us this afternoon. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. If you insist, we actually don't know anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now we'll try uh, uh, a song that was a favorite of Michael Holtz, who's not here today, but um, it's a great song called Petty's Lamentation, and we'll follow that up with uh, a reel that was written by the one and only Tommy Peoples. So thank you all so much again. This has been such a treat to be back here at Focal Point. It is my favorite place to play and have missed being up on this stage. So. Um, Delighted to be here, and thank you all so much again for coming out this afternoon. <coughs> <coughs> my boys and that's to hold your noise come listen to poor patty's lamentation i was by hunger pressed and in poverty distressed and i took a saw to leave the irish nation well i sold me horse and plow my little pig and sow my little plot of land i soon depart with my sweetheart bid me gee well i'm sure you'll never see for i left her there that morning broken hearted so here's to you boys Take my advice to America, I'll have you not be going. There's nothing there but war and the murdering cannons roar. And I wish I was at home in dear old Erin. Well, myself and a hundred more to America sailed o'er. Our fortunes to be making, we were thinking. We got to Yankee land, they shoved a gun into our hands. Saying, Paddy, you must go and fight for Lincoln. General Martos, he said, you had shot to lose your head. Each murdered soul of yours will get a pension. Myself, I lost my leg, and all I found's a wooden peg. By God, this is the truth to you I mention. So here's to you boys, now take my advice. To America, I'll have you not be going. There's nothing there but war, and the murdering cannons roar. And I wish I was at home in dear old Aaron.
Thank you. Thank you. Happy St. Patrick's Day.